actually goes very nicely into the next song on the album because um, it, it in our, in our in our quest for freedom, mm-hmm. um, that we that there is still some work to be done mm-hmm. there in order to have true freedom. Mm-hmm. And the next song, "Do Not Judge," is is a very simple but profound warning, yeah. uh, if you will, about not acknowledging. Um, the the work that we have to put in in order to enjoy our freedom. Yeah. Well, the story, I, I said a bit earlier that there was three songs on the album that I wrote um, from this retreat I did with Kathleen Norris. Mm-hmm. And so that um, The Home of Our God came from one of the talks that I wrote a song for that talk. This was for another talk okay. uh, from that Lenten weekend. Um, and, and the scripture passage was, Do Not Judge. Uh, for the measure that you use will be used against you, mm-hmm. and um, and so I, I read her talk in advance. She'd written it out, and and I just started singing the line, you know, "Do not judge, for you will not be judged." It's it's quite simple. Yes. And I just said, okay, this is not a work of art. It's just it's just it's this is a function. I'm going to use music to serve the, the day, mm-hmm. um, and write this little simple song. And um, came up with this little pithy for what you give is what you get. So mind that speck of yours. Like this <laughs> kind of, you know, be yep. careful. Mm-hmm. And it was just, I mean, I wasn't really at the time thinking that deeply about it. I was I just trying to serve the event. I was asked to come and to serve with music and I let the song be what it is. And it's simple and it's, it's, it's almost childish, childlike. Um, I never thought I'd record it, mm-hmm. you know, or sing it again, but it wouldn't leave me. And then um, when it came time to do the album... I was talking to Dave, um, my manager and co-producer, and Murray Pulver, who was the chief producer on this album. And I said, I got this little ditty. It's not really a song. What do you think? You know, and uh, the agreement was we should, we should give it a shot. And so we ended up putting it on the album as it is. And it just, it is what it is. It's mm-hmm. not deep. But it kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah. I think it, re- again, like the rest of the album, really speaks to the time yeah. that we're living in and the importance of grace yep. um, and acknowledging perhaps the lack of grace yep. that we're seeing in the discourse, yep. uh, especially online. Yep. Um, and and just that, that, that quickness to judge, yep. that quickness to put a label on someone, uh, to assume someone's yep. motivation. Yep. Um, to you know, label them the other as opposed to doing what you did uh, with that friend of yours and and committing to having a conversation and seeing them as people and say okay we and, disagree and pushing through and pushing through yeah, right yeah. and and that comes from not judging someone for their opinion well, but wanting to know how they got there yeah so I know you're not stupid and, yeah and and but I don't understand how you've you've got the mind that you have. Mm-hmm. How do we deal with this? And you push through and you realize, well, no, they are. I was my my initial instincts were right. Yes. You're not stupid or wicked. <laughs> um, and and so you can again, I mean, you know, whatever we however we sort of decide about political affiliations or allegiances or or whatever, that's that it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But you push through to the humanity of the other yes. person. Yep. And what you get out of it is you get the gift of the other person. Right, you not only know they're not stupid, they're not wicked, um, and not only that, there's something in this perspective that I need, you know, and I have been enlarged by that effort. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why that happened was there was enough grace to not judge each other, so we could go and share a meal and a bottle of wine, and about six hours of our time mm-hmm. in an intense conversation. Yeah. And the gift on the other end of that is wonderful. Yeah, if if, if, you, if you commit to the relationship, it's really hard to judge. Yep. Right. If you're actually in relationship with someone because you see yep. the full picture. Yep. Yeah. So it's not it's 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 simple, but yep. we've made it complicated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we forget that, like, you know, for those of us in the evangelical side, we forget that Jesus is not just our savior. Um, he was a wisdom teacher, mm-hmm. you know, um, along with Plato and and along with Muhammad and in all and along with Rumi and these people um, that that really did sort of mine their experience and come up with some some basic kind of truths Mm -hmm. you know it's not rocket science (laughs) you know but um you know um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you that that's just kind of common sense but it needs to be said i love it let's listen to the simple wisdom of do not judge So that you will not be judged Do not judge So that you will not be judged Do not judge So that you will not be judged Do not 
judge so that you will not be judged for what you give is what you get so mind that step of yours what you give is what you get so mind that step of yours do not judge so that you will not be So that you will not be judged What you give is what you get So mind that step of yours What you give is what you get So mind that step of yours Do not judge so that So that you